Hi and welcome back to another video in this series looking at building a G scale, uh, sorry, G series simplex in 009 scale, so four millimeters the foot. Um, last time we looked at this, we were here with this kind of slightly um, broken model, but I'd managed to just about work out how to print the side panels um, so that they were um, they looked right, like the expanded expanded mesh, but also so that they were paintable. Uh, I ran into a couple of problems there. This back bit's flimsy, and B. Um, some of the mesh was disappearing at the front because of support issues, uh, etc. So I've been through and made a few changes. Um, and I came up with this one, which I sprayed in um, grey to see if it makes did a difference. Unfortunately, it makes the light on the camera a bit for pain to see the details. Um, but you can see I've added a uh, roof to the engine compartment, which was printed fine. Uh, fixed the problem with the mesh at the front, so that's now um, all in place. The whole, the whole piece is there, so that's working. Uh, nicely um, beefed up the back so this is much stronger now still not you know it's still fragile but it's um, it's usable I don't think it's gonna fall apart um, having problems getting the axle boxes to print and be um, and come off the print properly um, it's a bit of a bit awkward this did have kind of custom uh, supports built but um, and I thought I'd get it right but one of them broke off and you can see they're really really kind of um, loose and fragile. Um, the other thing I noticed was that the sides are bulging out once the print dries and I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I might so I might have to add some reinforcing and thickening up the sides. I think they're just too thin. They're just, you know, so we'll, we'll fix that. Um, <clears throat> but I did do another another set of prints today. Um, not had a chance to print paint these yet, but they are uh, now printed. Um, so this is in just the pure resin. I've not, you know, you can tell it's still slightly damp. I've not fully cured it or anything yet. But um, four axle boxes, um, all in place. I've beefed them up quite substantially so that they now survive the printing process. Uh, that's worked nicely. Uh, back and front still, still all printing properly. I also printed these in uh, 0.2 millimeter layer height rather than the. 0.05 I'd been using now this meant that the print took over twice as long um, it's nearly four hours instead of about an hour and a half um, but it seems to be a much more sturdy print I left the layer height the layer, the time for each layer the same so um, yeah it's about two and a half times essentially the, the the cure time so it's a much harder much harder print um, I am still noticing I've got problems with the deformation of the sides. I was hoping um, that the, the smaller layer height would fix that, but this side still is still bulging outwards. Um, so I'm still going to have to thicken these up on the inside. But I think it does mean as well that the, the lower red line height has meant that the grill has come out, the, the expanded mesh has come out uh, with even finer detail. So I'm really quite happy with that. Um, I've beefed up the anti-slip pattern on the floor so that's now coming out looking really quite nice as well um, so yeah really happy with that and to give you an idea of scale as I say you can see that I've got the, the bogey and so you can see it's tiny uh, with its wheels uh, but here's a <coughs> standard um, four millimeter scale figure this is a Monty's models I think from dark casting dark, dark castings it's a um, railway engine driver figure um, so I think he's supposed to have his hands, hands out onto a control of some description uh, but he can sit just and I mean just um, on the seat with his hand if I get him in the seat actually on the seat um, with his hand on the top of here this fits quite nicely actually um, it's a bit difficult to keep it angled and on the seat um, so that gives you an idea of how small these things are um, so I've no idea where I'll get a driver figure that will fit if I do a cabbed version because um, with their elbows out there's no room at all um, but um, yeah that I think works looks really nice and shows just how small the thing is um, so that that looks that looks promising so I think I'm down to essentially having sorted the supports um, I need to it, it, the bogey's not fit the power bogey's not fitting quite perfectly underneath and I think that's just that I've got a little bit of bowing on the underside where um, there's not possibly not enough support material um, during printing. So if you if you I've got a couple more um, that I printed, so you can see this one's still a bit wet as well. I put a support in the middle of this floor area, uh, but it's slightly bowed either side, um, and I think that's causing it to 
just push the bogey out of place ever so slightly. Um, it just means these these first these layers of these areas are a bit too big when it first tries to pull them off the off the sheet in the printer. Um, so I might need to kind of move that sideways and have two of those supports instead of one. We'll have to we'll have to see. Um, I mean I can probably file it file it down a little bit once it's printed. Um, but given the amount of space, there's not a huge amount of um, space for the supports either, which is half the problem. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, so I think um, I'm really happy with that. So I just need to essentially solve the side issue with this panel bowing out. Um, I mean, I can't. I, what I, the problem I've got is I don't want to make the sides too thick because if I make them too thick, then um, you might be able to see them behind these sandboxes because that's actually hollow although given how dark it is um, I'm thinking that's probably not a huge issue I don't think you're ever going to see in there so um, I can probably just make them thicker and it'll still look black um, yeah so we'll, we'll have to have a, we'll have to have a play uh, but obviously I need to leave some space inside because there's not a huge amount of space in these things and I need to get the um, the resistor um, to power the bogey because the bogey is a three volt if I protect this out of here and get it out um, is a three volt um, motor um, it's a tiny little three volt motor in this um, chassis from a Kato, Kato Portram um, so I need to um, essentially the pickups are here and here so they need wiring to the motor wires normally there's a circuit board but there's not enough space for it um, and I need to um, step the power down from the 12 volts using a, a resistor so that I don't blow this motor up when I put it on the track. Um, so I'll probably use a tiny little surface mount uh, resistor uh, on a small amount of board um, that I can get inside but it does mean I've got to be careful about how much of the space inside the inside the model I use and I really ought to wash them properly before I stick buggies in them. Um, yeah so there's a limit to how much space of that I can fill up because I still need to be able to um, fit everything in but um yeah really happy um as i say now i've uh, i've got these um axle boxes printing um you can see that they're, they're still fragile but they're a lot better than they were uh, and there's still enough relief around them to make them them look right and you can see the the bolts around the edge and stuff so uh, really happy with how they've, they've come out now uh, so i think if i can fix the side walls um then that's all that's all sorted and this one will be almost finished um there's a few extra details like normally there's a there's a circle on the front for a lamp all the ones i've actually seen have had that bolt plated over because they've not had either not had the lamp fitted or it's been removed at some point um not quite sure what would have happened originally if it didn't have a light whether they just wouldn't have put the the, the mountain or not um, i'm tempted just to leave it as it is um so i think yeah i've got to thicken up the walls make sure that the bogey will fit properly by dealing with supports underneath uh, and then that might be it for the cabless version and then I can just uh, design the cab to, to fit. And I can probably do the cab. Well, I was thinking I might just print the cab as a as a whole piece as part of the model. But A, that would make painting inside the cab quite difficult. I mean, it's already going to be quite tight. I was already thinking it might be worth taking the, the seat out and printing that separately. Um, but also, if I'm doing this at 0.2 layers and I've got 0.2 millimeter layers... Uh, and it's taking almost four hours. If I had the cab on as well, it's going to take a lot longer. Um, so I might, and on the on the on the prototypes, you can see where the cab has been fitted to the loco. So what I might do is look at seeing if I can print the cab separately. Um, although it fits on the top of this uh, rear buffer rear coupling box, so I'm not um, I'm not quite sure how much height it would take if it was printed on its own. Um, so I'll have to I'll have to have a play around with that, uh, but yeah, uh, happy with the progress so far on this. It's uh, looking really nice, and uh, hopefully it won't be too long. And then I just have to figure out, as I say, how I'm exactly I'm going to paint it yellow um, when it's got a black resin, um, and the yellow paints are rather translucent. Uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it.